Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today uh, I'm going to discuss about the uh, Jabber troubleshooting, the core features, which is related with the directory integration or the, I can say all other things, directory integration, presence update, instant messages and the phone control as well. So in my previous lecture, I discussed about the Jabber login details. Uh, or the like uh, Jabber troubleshooting things. If you are getting any issues with the Jabber login, if you are getting username password incorrect, if you are getting uh, uh, cannot communicate with server error, if you are getting service discovery failed or cannot find services automatically. So we discussed about all these things in my previous lecture. So today I'm going to discuss about this troubleshooting Jabber core features that starts with the directory integration. So before starting this if if you are new to my channel then please like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will be getting the notifications of all my upcoming videos so let's start with the directory integration so what it means it means if uh, as you can say how do you know if the directory is connected or not so if on your jabber it's just saying the name the full name the first name and the last name it means it is connected to the directory source and if it is saying just this one uh, like i can say this is your uh, user id and at the rate this one that is at the rate domain name then that means it is not connected to your directory source if it is connected it will show the name full name i can say the first name and the last name. if it is not connected then it will show it in this way so as you can see uds directory resource this is mandatory when connected via mra so what it means how it is like mainly connected so as you know from this example this user your directory is not connected so you need to check it why directory is not connected and what is the issue so is it's just showing pc is connected internally jabber is installed on this pc it is going to this one and we can use uds for contact resolution so uds is selected in the ucm service profile and this is directly connected with the end users ucm end user is authenticated so if it is authenticated it is showing here it is successful directory connection as well so if everything is working it means the directory integration is working directory integration i can say or the directory is connected successfully as well so then we have the presence updates thing presence update as you can see it here presence update from client to server so client is your uh, jabber client here that is uh, that particular person it will send a uh, like an xm xmpp message to the connection manager out our presence engine so we have mainly uh, five services i can say on on your uh, presence which you need to enable that is like I can say the starts with the Cisco presence engine. We have this one, Cisco presence engine. We have Cisco XCP router. We have Cisco SIP proxy. We have Cisco sync agent. And we have this one, this Cisco uh, XCP connection manager. We have Cisco sync agent. We have Cisco client profile agent as well. These are the mainly services which we need to be activated or these services should be running on the present server as well. Because your Jabber, is directly connected with your presence with the help of this XMPP protocol. That's why you can see it here. It is connected via XMPP message on the TCP port 5222. So let's let's discuss about those five services which are on the which should be activated or running on the uh, IMN present. So the first service which we uh, which we just uh, going to discuss that is a Cisco presence engine. So this service is mainly showing the status as soon as you are going on a call in a meeting it will provide the status if this service is not running or stopped or deactivated it will show an offline status it the main work of this presence engine is to provide the status updates then we have the next thing that is cisco xcp router this one so cisco xcp router means it will just show uh, the jabber application and the IMN presence communication. So the communication between Jabber and the IMN presence is through this XCP router. If we if we stop this service or maybe someone mistakenly did that, then if service is stopped, then all your users will be logged off. 
it will not show only the status as offline it all other all the users of jabber will show log off if this service is stopped then we have next service that is we have the main thing that is cisco sip proxy and that sip proxy is mainly used for the integration between your uh, between your cucm and i am in present server that cisco sip proxy then we have cisco sync agent that is uh cisco sync agent that is mainly used uh, for the status actually like if you want to change your status manually so you can change it with the help of the sync agent if that is working if that sync agent is stopped then you will not be able to change your status manually like if you are busy somewhere you are working somewhere and you want to change your status from available to busy or do not disturb mode if your cisco sync agent service is not activated then you will not be able to manually change the status then after that you have one thing that is cisco client profile agent so client profile agent is mainly used uh, with the phone services mainly with the csf functionality so if your cisco client profile agent is stopped your cisco functionality this is not cisco csf functionality will not show like if you are on a call from your jabber it will not show on a call status if that client profile agent service is stopped okay so now in this present update from client to server then this george jabber client is sending an xap message to the im and present server then you can see it here you want to check the jabber problem report the logs here you can see in the same that is jabber.log what it is saying if you want to if you want to just set the uh, status to this one setting the custom present status off to mount vernon this one so what it's saying user sets presence manually so manually it will status uh, manually that user will be able to change if your sync agent is working and then here you can see xmpp message will be sent to the im and present server to just change the status to this one off to mount vernon here you can see there is a presence update from server to client earlier it was from george like this one to this one this direction to this direction now it is from server to client like here you can see xmpp it will show george watchers means if anyone is uh, checking out on george it will show the same status that is off to mount vernon like this one george washington off to mount vernon same you can check the logs here in the jabber.log file here you can see it is saying the status of to mount vernon here it can you can see it here that is a main thing for the five services which we uh, discussed about the im and presence those services should be running or i can say those services should be activated only then everything will work there is one more thing that is uh, that is we mainly discuss it as uh, like say it as ccnc ip profile so what's the main purpose of that ccnc ip profile on the im and presence the main purpose of that ccnc ip profile is to control the desk phone activities if you are doing something on the desk phone if you are doing something on the jabber it should reflect the same thing on the other thing as well if you are changing something on jabber if you are on call from your uh, desk phone then it should the it should show the status on jabber as well. if you are doing something on jabber it should show the same on your phone as well it's like if you are calling from your phone it will show same status on jabber like maybe if you are in a meeting it should show the same thing if you are on do not disturb like if you press the do not disturb from your phone it should show dnd on your jabber as well whether whether you have csf thing csf created or not then we have next thing that is instant messages in the instant messaging you can say there is an instant message from thomas to george thomas is your client as of now it sends an xmpp message through tcp port to the im and present server so after that in response you will get it from uh, im and present server xmpp message again on the same tcp port to the george here you can see the same things in the jabber logs as well the first thing is xmpp message is compiled and sent what it is saying in that the message to george at the red presidents.net so this is a message going to george washington and from which person this person that is t jefferson and what message 
here you can see it under the body so you can say in the body he typed this john adams is my best this is the message which this uh, thomas sent it to george so the next thing is that is phone control so phone control this is purely related with the jabber soft phone in which we need to like create the csf devices and csf profile and need to associate with the end user and all other things here you can see in the jabber soft phone mode this jabber is you are installed on your machine and what all are the responses https get response https or tftp response and what are the messages of sip register and sip 200 okay and then what's the connection directly between these https or tftp get let's discuss about these things so here you can see in the same in the java.log file soft phone tftp process starts so first thing that is tftp process begins so here you can see it is asked to retrieve the file that is cnf.xml of csf here you can see it is asking for that csf profile of george washington that contains all other things dot cnf.xml file it is asking so now https get request is configured so now it is saying configuring the request after that you can see it is showing 200 responses returned for the config file what it's saying http response code 200 for the request same 200 response should be there and then you will get this https get request so it will retrieve all these things earlier it asked now it is retrieving the file which file that cnf.xml of george washington so now 200 responses returned for that config file but it says data written to file which file this one jabber csf george washington and what's why it, it's showing something here like it, whether it's success true or false now it will fetch as it is showing fetch configuration is completed here it is showing fetch device configuration retrieved the configuration for george washington here you can see it from this as well like the first is a register request here register request is sent from jabber to your cucn then you will get like this 100 trying 200 okay as it is showing in here so here okay is sent from cucm and the phone is now registered as soon as you send register request to your cucm your cucm will send 200 okay like okay your phone is now registered here as you can see it here this is the register request and i'm trying like okay i'm trying then there is a message of this 200 okay and once this is it is showing your phone is now registered and you will be able to see this thing on your jabber like this is the view from your jabber client once it shows this thing it means your jabber is now configured to use as a soft phone now and then we have this thing that is jabber desk phone control so now it is showing like this one you are, you are using this as a soft phone you can you can use two things like a jabber soft phone as well as the hard phone it, you will get the two options here like you can see the down arrow here you can once you click on this it will give you an options so the jabber desk phone control jabber desk phone mode same things https get response and provider open request and response let's discuss about this so you will be check you will be able to check this desk phone control in the cti manager logs and you can collect these logs from the rtmt tool as it is saying cti manager service logs can be found on the cucn server you can collect it from the rtmt and in the cti manager service log you will be able to find these sdl logs so it first sent the provider open request to cti manager what it shows it is saying provider open request first is the open request then what it will do it will authenticate it user authentication is attempted here it also attempt to authenticate dean uh, attempt to authenticate DN and it, it is just showing all these things CN, uh, OU, uh, the DC and the DC like Theodore dot president at the rate president dot Cisco live US dot net like this one. It is just uh, divided user authentication. Now you have uh, once it is successfully authenticated, it will show this one and user authentication is successful. LDAP authentication bind success for CN this one and OU DC DC equals to net so success it is saying success is generated here 
So now once everything is like good and user is authenticated, success is generated, you will be able to find this thing here. What it is showing success is sent to Jabber. So cluster ID, it is showing whether it's a standalone or you are for uh, uh, the, it is configured for high availability or all these things, it will show up here. Now, if it is successfully configured, successfully sent to Jabber, it will show this one. So now what it means, the activities are controlling by the hard phone, the desk phone. If it is showing the previous one, then it means everything is controlled by the Cisco Jabber soft phone. I hope you liked this video. You have learned something from my video as well. And if you really liked it, please like, share and subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon so that you will not miss any notifications of my upcoming videos related to Cisco, Cisco Voice, Cisco Video, Microsoft Teams and everything related with the troubleshooting with the CUC. Thank you.